Welcome to my YouTube channel, everyone. I am Solange Daniel and I am back with another video. Another video last time explaining the three core points that a lady should expect from a man and a man should give a lady. So I had some people inbox me, some very good friends inbox me saying that it shouldn't be one-sided. Can you make a video on the points that that is should consider in a relationship in order to make it favorable for the man so due to that i already had my own points but i did a lot more research and i came up with not three for men but four so with that being said we'll dive into the video okay and also don't forget to share some meal okay just pay a few change and donate money this money goes a long way to feed the needy and those who really need food okay what does it take to end global hunger it costs 80 cents to feed one hungry child for one full day the share the meal app enables you to share your meal with children in need all it takes is 80 cents and a tap on your smartphone whenever you want, wherever you are. With that being said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, okay, you guys? It really helps me when you guys like, you comment, and you subscribe. It really helps me. And also share my videos too. I really want this channel to grow. Make comments on the topics you want me to talk on, and I will do that. So with that being said, let's dive right into it. Due to my research and actually a lot of men, I came out with just four basic points. These are four primary points that most men and women most men out there expect their ladies to do for them in most cases we know men have ego and they might not say it but trust me they'll really appreciate this if you do some men will actually tell you and they'll be like oh i'm so happy you did this for me some men will not I'll, some some might even say i will so i will be happy if you do this for me and this and that for me but some men will not say it some is due to ego others are just really shy so i got your back ladies please watch to the end of this video because i have a bonus topic for the ladies in particular and also for the men out there to advise your daughters to advise your sisters and your mom who are also trying to date on what to do so let's dive into it the four primary core points core aspect that men actually expect from women but due to one Thing or the order they don't turn to say it or what first playfulness see a man love a woman who is playful men actually behaves like a five-year-old boy when they're around you that is the truth when they're around the woman they love when they're around their girlfriend the wives their mothers they turn to behave like a five-year-old boy and, and based on what we know, five-year-old boys are very playful. They love to play. So a man loves a woman who can play. See, ladies, the world out there is just too serious and too hectic for a man to come back home and meet you being all serious. No. He wants to play ground when he's around his woman. That is the truth. He wants... Uh, uh, a beautiful, playful, cheerful, jovial atmosphere when he is around his woman. The least you can do as a lady is to be playful when he plays with you. Smile when he smiles with you. If you want, if he wants to play, he will play with you. For uh, in other cases, you might get get him a game. Men love playing games. It does not make them weak. It does not mean they are not up to standard. It does not mean they will not take care of you. Everybody has the childish part of them that they always like to step back into it and feel like a child again. There's nothing wrong with that. It helps psychologically. I'm telling you, intellectually it helps a lot and even emotionally. There's nothing wrong with that. We really know men love playing video games. Or better still, if he wants to play with you, you play. You guys can play hide and seek. You can play this. 
one they use water or whatever like that i'm telling you for all other cases you can actually build a, your man a man cave this is a cave where he goes there to express his his masculine part of him this is a game where this this is a room where when he steps into it he feels like a complete man again yet it's not like he's not a complete man when he's with you it is just an aspect of men a woman you deserve a pink room a beauty room for yourself a man deserve a man cave for himself it really is helpful where he gets to connect with the boys you know he gets to connect with his boys and they do manly things without being ashamed or insecure without feeling like my wife is around she might not like this aspect of me as long as it is legal and it is he's not being unfaithful to you in any aspect let him just be a man okay playfulness has to do with all these things okay second is nurturing for very no reason men love to be nurtured that is because women are natural caregivers we are natural nurturers this is just the very core of a woman to nurture. We nurture our mothers, nurture our fathers, nurture our children, our husband, our boyfriend, our best male friends, even our friends who behave like their mothers. It is just normal. Now, a man loves a woman that nurtures. When I mean nurture, I don't just mean cooking and cleaning for him as some of you guys do in your relationship. But I'm very well aware that in the 21st century, such uh, uh, chores are shared between the man and the woman it's no longer gender based anymore but nurturing in a case where he could actually just come and lie in your arms and cuddle men love that men just want to cuddle he just want to be in your arms and feel like a five-year-old being cuddled by the mother there's nothing wrong with that yet again i'm telling you there's nothing wrong with that he just wants you to you just want to know that you're there for him like if he's going through a hard time nurture him intellectually psychologically psychologically by saying that babe you got this you're up to this i know you got this babe by saying that babe don't bother this period will pass that is you nurturing him emotionally being vulnerable and giving him the emotional things he needs in life in order to move on now for a kiss, when he says I love you, say I love you back. When he takes goodbye, say goodbye, babe. All these things are so nurturing to men. They are also nurturing to men. It really helps them. These are things that you do in order to make the other person feel special, to make your man feel, feel special. It's not that he's being a brat or being a kid. The truth is that it is okay for a man to want to be nurtured. It is just okay. There's nothing wrong with that. For the fourth point is independence. This is an aspect that has been misunderstood. So many negative concepts have been made around it, female independence. See, it is good to be independent as a woman. I would like to know. It saves you a lot of shit from a lot of boys. But now we are talking about a man, not a boy. It is good to have your own money, to have your life figure out. It is good to have your priorities straight as a woman. It is good to have yourself all made up, all calculated. You have everything you ever wanted planned out and it's working well for you. There is no problem with that as a woman. But let me tell you something. When you are too independent, you make a man feel worthless, which attacks, which attacks his not only his ego, his psychologically and his emotions this is actually not good for a healthy relationship as a woman it's okay to have everything figured out but when you meet a man try to be independent a bit ask him for things even though you can get it for yourself make this man feel wanted and needed you could tell him you need this or that need him to do this or do that just to make him feel wanted it is actually very nice see for us women who grow up knowing that men are not supposed to be dependent they are supposed to be independent so being with a man who is independent for us ladies 
we are not work so we are actually happy to have a man who is independent that is the truth we love that men were taught when they were growing up that women are supposed to be dependent on them now being in a society where every woman wants to be independent every woman exercises independently it actually affects it negatively even though they will say it and even though they will kick against it that is the truth it makes them feel unwanted and unneeded it's, it's sexiness a man loves a woman who is sexy because men are naturally very sexual a man is a sexual being whether you like it or not being sexy does not mean having sex with a man <laughs> being sexy it means showing him a side of you that he never thought he knew dressing in the sexy way having the sexy makeup on <laughs> having the sexy look at him when you see him my dear sending him sexy things and sexy texts make your man make your husband know that you have the part of you that i could actually be sexy i have a sexual side of me that you will love change your hairstyle you know it is actually very sexy do your makeup today different do your makeup tomorrow different make your outfit be so sexy and appealing to him all these things are sexy so without any chronological order these are the four main core points primary points that most men look for in a relationship okay <laughs> okay i told you that i have a bonus point at the end of this relationship video so let's dive into this bonus point i said i had for you guys okay for most of the ladies out there we always come across this question from men like what do you look for in a man what type of man are you looking for what do you want in a man what do you want your man to be like so let me tell you when men ask you this question at the beginning of a relationship or when trusting you they're looking for the roadmap to your heart don't make it easy for them <laughs> Don't go telling them that I love chocolate, my dear. For the next one with this man, we we'll buy all the chocolate in the world just to eat and run. Don't go telling him that I love flowers. For the next two, with this man, we we'll spoil you with flowers just to eat and run. Don't go telling him that um, I love a man who dresses well. Let me tell you, for the next one week, this man will dress so sweet, so elegant, so nice just to get lure you in hit and run this is the answer you're supposed to give when he's like oh what do you look for in a man i want to know the type of man you're into then you as a lady composely <laughs> elegantly tell him i love a man who goes out of his way to make a lady feel special two I love a man who is filled with chivalry. Three, I love a man who is so thoughtful. Four, I love a man with intentions. And fifth, I love a man who is so attentive. Ladies, tell him three or four of these points. Tell him all five of these points. Let him guess it. Let me tell you, men are smarter than you think. Let him guess him. He will meet his homeboys. He will meet his family. Meet his best friend. He will be like, what does she mean when she says this? Like, I want to know what is she saying? What does she mean when she says this? To all my ladies out there, these men will ask you the meaning of this. Let me tell you, they'll be like, what do you mean by thoughtful? What do you mean by chivalry? Tell the man, it is your work to do it. I won't do your work for you. No. Now it is your work to do it. Search on it. Research on it. Ask your homeboys. Ask your family. At the end of the day, it is your duty to take care of what I've said. And you gracefully walk away. Let him bother himself about that not you. Let me tell you something. If he wants to be with you and if he is serious, he will do these things for you. 
If he quits at the middle of the journey, he wasn't meant to be in your life. If he continues to the end of the journey, then I guess you just have yourself a good man. A man who will do everything just to make you happy. Okay, for all my boys, for all the boys out there, I know you're going to be like, uh, what does she really mean by all these five or four points? Okay. In my next video, I'm going to explain all these points so that you, the men out there, could actually understand why when we, the ladies, say this, and you know what to do in order to to win your woman, you know what to do in order to make this woman love and even say yes to your marriage proposal. Okay, to make her yours forever. Okay, guys, don't forget to like comment and subscribe okay and follow me on my other social media platforms okay okay see you in my next video and i love you stay safe and also there's a lot of hate going on in this world the best you could do is to just be kind to someone just be kind